the Global Dressage Forum North America, the ultimate educational experience where champions meet. DressageClinic.com A world of knowledge at your fingertips. Stefan, we more or less know the Stefan Peters of today. But let me take you back to the time when you were 18, 19, 20 years old, 21. What was going on in your life at that time? I was working already at Jo Hinnemann's barn in Germany. Uh -huh. And Jo Hinnemann's wife was a math teacher at our high school. So I did spend more time at you know, her husband's place, then I was at school. Um, <laughs> uh, there, uh, you know, I, probably, I know not, exactly what you mean. probably not something most parents and their <laughs> high school students would like to hear, but I've always felt like that was a huge part of my life. School languages, that worked fine, but everything else, I have to say, there were certainly disappointments, but I did obviously finish it in with respect to my parents. Right. And I felt like that was something um, that I needed to do. But afterwards um, I've had the opportunity to um, meet a lot of American clients at Joe Hinneman's barn one of them was Lori Falvo who is a trainer in San Diego she invited me to come to the States and I accepted but in the year 1984 I still had to complete my army services in in Germany oh, yeah. and it's a mandatory service uh, probably something I wasn't looking for forward to do, but I thought it was very good to do something that you had to. The first three months of boot camp were, were uh, something that I never forget. Right. You know, a lot of camaraderie, but a lot of exercises in very cold weather. And I, I think it was good for me to really do something that you really didn't want to do. Now, I believe your father used to always have a saying, discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. Discipline is the bridge between dreams and accomplishments. Dreams and accomplishments. Dreams and accomplishments. Thank you for correcting me. And yes, you know, he was a great role model still. If you ask me up today, who would be your biggest role model? That would be my dad. Um, just from kindness, fairness, um, a very good athlete, very disciplined. And he taught me early on, discipline is simply another word for, for setting priorities. What is really most important in your life? And the athletic part of it, uh, being sportsmanlike, that was taught early on. And I still respect and appreciate that every single day. I think discipline is really a deciding factor between success and failure. Absolutely. Not only in writing, but in any art form. So... Now, you have taken numerous horses to the top of our sport. I remember Udon. We worked together with Floriano, with Ravel. What is, do you think, the ingredient that helps you to be repetitive in producing successful horses? I mean, you've been coming out with one after the other after the other. Um, Andreas, I think a lot has to do is that I like to use very good judgment and good responsibility to the sponsors to tell them which horse I can truly produce. There's certainly, a, it is certainly a huge investment for the sponsors. And I can tell you early on, you know, a horse that might work out, a horse that doesn't. And I, I'm so lucky to have to, had to so many wonderful teachers, human teachers. Um, I even had better um, equestrian teachers. Most recently, for the last six years, I had a professor. His name is Ravel. <laughs> so, you know, amazing uh, teachers where you continuously learn, not just riding-wise, but also off the field, how to deal with, uh, with pressure, being exposed to the, uh, the top level, you know, learning to deal with very, very difficult situations. Right. And I appreciate all the humans and the forces that have Right. To get there. Let me take you back to the days of Udon. Uh, now, he was an important horse for you. He was your first horse for the Olympics. And uh, he was known to be quite an energetic little character. 
um, at what point did you realize in his early training that, you know what, he might actually go all the way? What point did you come to realize this? Well, we certainly learned together. Yudong was purchased by mom and dad when he was uh, barely three years old for uh, 7,000 guilders. We didn't have the euro in those days. Right. That's about $2,000 nowadays. Right. And uh, we grew together. My sister and I, we broke him together. When she fell off, she got hurt. I got on. I fell off. I got hurt. She took over. It was a, it was a great family teamwork there. And to be honest, I did not know until he was nine years old that he would have the potential nine. to be a Grand Prix horse. And even at that time, when we started out with the Grand Prix, that he would represent the United States in the 1996 Olympics was certainly a dream at that time. Right. But um, I was in the very fortunate position that wonderful sponsors, Lila and Bob Kammerstadt, came into my life in, in 91. They purchased Yudong from our family and said, oh, yeah. look, we'd like you, to sponsor, like you to be sponsors. And that's also when I started my own business in the States in 91. The Global Dressage Forum North America, the ultimate educational experience where champions meet. DressageClinic.com A world of knowledge at your fingertips. DressageClinic.com is an educational website that allows you to enter the world of dressage training through videos of top-seated international dressage trainers, writers, and lecturers. Experience the mastery of some of the world's top trainers from the privacy of your own virtual ringside seat as they guide you through all facets of dressage discipline, sharing their valuable insights and instructions. The upcoming new video section is updated each month to provide you with information on the latest training videos to be showcased on the site. The special features section gives you easy access to the training videos that are currently available online, while the search training section allows you to find videos based on a wide variety of categories. Membership to DressageClinic.com provides you with instant access to an international array of recognized trainers from the United States, Canada, Germany, Holland, Belgium, Spain, and many other countries, each sharing their knowledge on a wide variety of educational and informative subjects.